All right, guys, let's work on the next video. So it, this standard is I can fluently add and subtract multi-digit whole numbers using the standard algorithm. Remember, in our math academic language, the standard algorithm is the kind of the standard way everybody does it. It's the way mom and dad, that's pretty much the only thing that they were taught. So if we're going to add multi-digit numbers, add and subtract them, it's going to be problems like this. Okay, so I'm going to subtract 0 minus 1. I can't do it, so I have to regroup it. That becomes a 4, and I bring a 1 over here. So 10 minus 1 is 9. 4 minus 1 is 3, and 4 minus 2 is 2. I encourage my students to use inverse operation in order to check the accuracy of our work. So that means I'm going to go backwards and I'm going to work my way up with the opposite inverse operation. And that's what happens here. So that becomes 239 plus 211. And I should get 450. That would tell me I did the right thing. But 9 plus 1 is 10. Carry the 1. 3 plus 1 is 4. Plus 1 is 5. And 2 plus 2 is 4. And because this 450 matches that 450, I'm pretty sure I have the accurate response. Let's do one that starts out as addition and we'll go into four digits. Okay, here we go. 1 plus 1 is 2. 9 plus 4, 13. Carry the 1. 4 plus 1 is 5, plus 8. Give you a second. 13. And 5 plus 2. I'm sorry, 3 plus 2. In my brain, I already added it up. And then don't forget that comma. So again, I always encourage my students to do the inverse, opera inverse operation because that's how we check for accuracy. So you're going to go backwards with the inverse operation, and the opposite of addition is subtraction. So 5, 3, 3, 2, minus 3, 8, 4, 1, and I should get 1491. Here we go. 2 minus 1 is 1. 3 minus 4 I can't do, so I need to regroup it. 13 minus 4 is 9. 2 minus 8 I can't do. If I could do 52 minus 38, that would work. But let's regroup. 12 minus 8 is 4. And 4 minus 3 is 1. And since I got 1,491, and I started with 1,491, it checks out, and that tells me that I am accurate. This is how we do it with the standard algorithm. So mom and dad will be happy to see that, but try to use the inverse operation because checking your accuracy in math is very important. All right, guys, thanks.